YouTube, it's Jen and Brad, and we're here for our weekly update. And let's start with the numbers. You want to go first? Sure. Six feet tall, starting weight three twenty. Last week I was two thirty five point two. This week I'm two thirty four for a one point two pound loss. Yay! Did I say that correctly? Two thirty five point two and two thirty four one point two. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, five feet four inches tall. Started this journey in December of two thousand and twelve at two hundred and sixty two pounds. Last week. I was 188. This week I'm 186.6 for a 1.4 pound loss. Very nice. However, however, instead of me being happy, I was frustrated because yesterday morning I did a pre weigh in and I was two pounds lighter. And I know I didn't gain two pounds overnight, so I'm just frustrated that I'm just frustrated because I like the yesterday We're numbers. We're going to move our weigh in days to Tuesdays. What I, it should be whatever day of the week you get the best number, that's your day. No, but like I was 146.6. I'm like, yes, I just got to lose another 2.6 to be back to where I want to be. And now oh, I got to lose 4.6. So tell me about your week. Uh, not too much. Just a lot of stress at work. So I'm trying to be even more vigilant with bringing my breakfasts and my lunches, planning my snacks at home and the dinners I'm cooking because I know I've only been able to work out once a week so far with the racquetball. Um, but I'm hoping in February things will try to quiet down. As each week goes on and the project progresses and things get better, hopefully things will quiet down a little more and I'll be able to introduce some of the running back at work again. But I'm trying to do as much racquetball on the weekends at least as I can. Um, to It just helps with my sanity. Well, and I found that because you're so stressed at work, you like to have less stuff packaged in on the weekends. Yes. And because we have been doing less on the weekends, we haven't been going out to eat That's every true. night of the weekend. So we only went out one night um, to eat this weekend instead of like more than one meal. So yeah. it was, I think that helped us a lot too. Mm -hmm. And I gotta say, I'm happy because you have helped me like cook things. And so I oh, yeah, am. Yeah, it's easy. So Sunday this week, we meal prepped. Well, mm -hmm. I meal prepped. You made your. We made yeah. we went to Trader Joe's, which yep. I, I don't understand. <laughs> the parking lot for that place is like out. It's, People are nuts in Tampa. And then with you that go in Trader there, Joe's crap. and the like show, the store is like the size of a shoebox. First yes. of all, and if you wanted to do like your entire grocery shopping, like that would be impossible. It's just like for specialty items. So I'm waiting in line in my car for like 20 minutes to get, a, to parking get a parking spot, spot to go inside to have like specialty items. Sorry very stressed out about Trader Joe's. This was like my third time ever being there. But, so we took the time this time to go through and buy a bunch of different things to try. For example, try cauliflower soup. It was the most disgusting thing ever. <laughs> um, but I, I also got a prepared brisket. You didn't like in it? In barbecue sauce, it was terrible. But if you liked the barbecue sauce, it would've been great. I just did not like the barbecue sauce. But. You liked the bulgogi? We got bulgogi, which is Korean beef. And it already came already marinated and everything, but raw. So you just open the packet and cook it. And so he stir fried it and it didn't have enough of a taste to it. So he added a little teriyaki. Fantastic. So that made I me I didn't like it. But for so, me So but it made like four meals for her. Four meals. And I and in, so for Asian food, I really like eating Asian food, but I don't eat rice. So um I mixed that with two bags of rice cauliflower and um, water chestnuts and I just mixed that all together and that made four meals for me so that Good was fantastic meat. and then I've been I've been also trying to do different like meats and stuff so we did uh, taco meat so I browned some 10% fat meat beef with the Taco Bell seasoning and I just put a little bit of cheese on there and in a low uh, carb tortilla and that's a way to get a whole bunch of protein very little carbs and it tastes good, you know, and it's easy. I can prep it. I did two pounds of meat, and that made like five or six um, post cooking servings, and it was it was great. So I have to thank you so much for helping me with mm -hmm. the. I can't That's cook, easy. and so Brad will crock pot things for me, or he'll do. And I'm I'm simple in the sense that I can make something on Sunday for the rest of the week, and I can eat it Monday to Friday. It doesn't bother me at all. Mm -hmm. So thank you for your help That's in that. Easy. And I'm finding that I'm having to play with foods. And I think, you know, I'm not, I'm not keto or any of those people that go keto. But one of the things about keto is eating more fat What's in your keto? food. The ketogenic diet. I don't know anything about that. It's like Atkins, but with high fat. 
Uh, Anyways, people will tell you that, you know, higher fat will keep you satisfied. And you know what? I think that's true. So, you know, instead of going for the 3% fat meat, I went for the 10% fat meat. It's a little bit more calories. But if that's going to keep me from needing a snack at 3 o'clock, totally worth it. So, trying to play around. I'm not, I'm trying not to cook as many Quest bars. If, um, <laughs> so, I like, I haven't been having the, the real bars. I'll have like a 100 calorie Quest um cereal bar every morning on the way to work but I'm not like binging you know three quest bars a day or anything so that's better what else not too much well I have to say for posterity been lifting uh, got my personal record so far on squatting I squat 195 pounds back like, squat yeah sorry back squat that is ridiculous I still remember less than a year ago we started like the end of March of last year. And I was trying to squat the bar, the 45 pound bar. And I, I like had no balance. And I was like, I'll never be able to do actual weight. My trainer's like, yeah, we'll have you doing 150 pounds in six months. And I'm like, you are crazy. And I'm doing 195 pounds. Like that is ridiculous. And your deadlift. My deadlift, um, my one max rep, uh, we haven't done that in a while. It was 215, but we tried recently. I think it was like 225, and I was close. But, but they did three reps of 215. Yes, 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 yes. So I don't know, but that, that was my last one one rep max was 215. The other day I did two. Or th- I did three reps of 215, but yeah. I don't know what my new one rep max is. So, but. So I'm gonna keep gaining weight so she can't deadlift my dead body. <laughs> so I just need to stay ahead of her lifting. <laughs> So I feel like, why isn't Brad losing weight? I'm trying to stay ahead of the curve so I don't accidentally die and get dragged away somewhere by Jen. But I am, I am enjoying it. But, you know, somebody asked me, um, like, what my goal was with weightlifting. And when I originally started, I thought, stupidly, that if I just lifted weight, the pounds of fat would start melting away and you'd see, like, these beautiful muscles. You can't see a muscle anywhere in here. So basically, I guess I'm lifting weight for the joy of knowing I can, which I really don't need to know that. So I keep holding. So you're turning fat into muscle. No, I'm not. Or there's so much fat that the the new little muscle is so well hidden. So You got the guns. No, I don't. You can't. You can see them. No, you can't. So we still have to do a body shot. We still have to make a goals video. Okay. Um. Did you want to give a shout out thank you to Jennifer Mahoney? Oh yes. Thank you for responding to my question about the intervals. So the running intervals. Yes, running intervals. Um so I'm gonna give that a try. So thank you. But you're a little different than me where you're like, well, so I'll run four miles and then I'll start doing the intervals. I'm like, I'm doing the intervals starting at four seconds, <laughs> not four miles. Well, you also remember, not this weekend, but next weekend, we got yes, another five K. Yep. The so last I might, I might break it out during that. Oh yeah. So we'll see. And I figure I'm going to use you to pace me this time since I'm like... You're I can't. faster than I am with 5K. I was, and then I apparently am not anymore, so... Oh, that's right. I beat you, didn't I? You beat me like twice. Mm-hmm. Yes, because you're the man. So now I'm going to... Can we put like one of those... Uh, actually, I'd have to put on you the little child leash on you, so therefore when you get ahead of me, you can start yeah. to pull me. So, anything else? I don't think so. This upcoming week, how's it looking? Good. I don't know. Well, do I don't mean? think we're going to have to worry about eating too much this weekend since we are adopting a new oh, yeah. cat. And I am a cat crazy lady. So we probably will not be going out to... Do you see us going out to eat? You don't see... I don't see me getting pulled away from that cat That's for the fun. entire weekend. Like, it's me and the cat. We are going to I got plenty of stuff to cook here, so I'm not so worried about that either. hopefully, hopefully, next week we will see good numbers again. Indubitably. So... Anything else? I think that's it. We love your faces. Kick some fat asses. We hope you all are big losers. Yeah. Dear Lord. Uh, but have a great week, and hopefully we'll see you next week. Bye, YouTube.